Okay, um, hi, it's Pear at Mercedes-Benz uh, Fashion Week Stockholm. I'm here with Madeleine Levy, who is um, Bond Magazine, and also she's part of... What are you part of? You're part of the Stockholm <laughs> well, fashion bon, brands? Yeah, Bonn is the founding member, founding partner of the Fashion Week here in Stockholm. Uh, we also are founding members of the ASFV, the Association of Swedish Fashion Brands, which is a fairly new association founded to support Swedish brands. Okay. Um, one thing that I find really interesting is this talk about Swedish fashion and uh, you know, and I, I'm fond of saying it's just, a, it's just an invention of journalists, this Swedish fashion idea. But I think you beg to differ a little bit. I think you have a diff. I think you would like to maybe expand on that a little bit. I think creatively, it's difficult to say that there's one thing which is Swedish fashion because we have a lot of diverse brands going in different directions and doing interesting things. But I would say that at the moment, both here in Stockholm but also in other parts of the country, there is a wave of creativity. There are very interesting things happening in fashion, there are a lot of brands with a lot of potential, a lot of them we've already seen out in the world getting a lot of potential, finding fans, finding people who want their stuff. Um, so I would say yes, considering how small a country it is, I'm quite fascinated with how much fashion creativity is to be found here, yes. Uh, one thing that, I mean, I am Swedish so I, I come here quite often, and one thing I always sort of am struck uh, about is like how stylish kids are here, like 13 year olds, 12 year olds, and you know, you come here and you're, people are always very styled in a sense, like there's a real sense of fashion here, I would say, in Sweden, in Stockholm especially. You agree? Yeah, you could say that, yeah, no, a lot of people are stylish, I mean, it's not just the kids, my mother's really stylish as well. Um, I think, I mean, it's got to do with a few different things. Of course, it's quite democratic. A lot of the Swedish brands have found their way into that mid-segment, which is proving so successful all throughout the world. It's design. It feels like design. You have a beautiful flagship stores, you have great new shapes, you have even a bit of um, experiment going on. But price-wise, you're very far off from the big kind of French and Italian brands who just play in a completely different league. And that makes Swedish fashion accessible to a lot of people. I mean, you, you, you bring up like Acne or Cheap Monday. I mean, I think it's kind of like good examples of that sort of like... Yes. N like, not driven by designers, but driven by more like a conceptual thing or like a driven by a a brand, an idea about a brand as a lifestyle or, or, or yeah, you're definitely or something. Like that. Those two, yes, definitely. They're, I mean, they're two very successful commercial brands. Also. Meaning, uh, what I mean is like they're not driven by the designers themselves, in the so to speak. It's not, it's not like Karl Lagerfeld at Chanel. It's not like. Oh, I. Do you know what I'm? I think they actually have very strong designing minds within those structures, even though they those two haven't chosen to put their personal names on their brands. Um, but I think you can see the equivalent perhaps in well brands like Carven, for example. In a way, Alexander Wang is doing a similar thing. He's, he's very much about an idea, about a feeling, about a certain set of girls wearing his stuff. But he does stick in a slightly slower, like slower, sorry, lower price level, where things get a bit more accessible. Um, and I think they're more part of that movement of making something that is quite. No, I would say it is design driven and it's driven by ideas and aesthetics. Um, um, but it's put into or combined with a framework that's more, well, closer to perhaps uh, retail chains. Okay. Madeline, I'd like to thank you very much. It was great having you here for a short moment. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay.